Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your favorite girl, Gamer Pretty Loves Pink, and I'm coming at you today with my very first game as a legend. Yes, we made it. All the grinding, all the long days, the long nights of playing 2K with good teammate grace, good ball movement, good team basketball, period. I'm finally a legend. Look at that intro, so I'm beasting, I'm beasting. Okay, so yeah, I get the frequent question of how do you rep up fast? So in this video here, I'm pretty much going to tell you exactly what I did and how I'm a legend so quickly. Now, honestly, to tell you the truth, when this game first came out, I did not hit the park straight. I did not go straight to the park. If I would've went straight to the park, I probably would be a legend too by now. But what I did was, at first, you know, I played a little my career, not with my big man, because you see this player right here is a center. I had just made this player maybe a week ago. I'm not really primarily a center player, but I mean, I wasn't doing such a bad job as a center, so, you know, he came out, you know, more often than not. Whenever anyone needed a big man or we needed a big man, I didn't have to worry about, you know, making sure we found one at the park because they're very scarce. Everybody's made a guard this year, point guard, shooting guard, everybody's little. So it's kind of hard to find a consistent big man. So I decided to make one myself. Now, I haven't played a micro game with him yet, um, but I did buy VC to, you know, get his attribute upgrades, you know, as far as I could. He's an 88 overall, 7'3", he's like plus 200 pounds plus. Um, he only has the badges that you get primarily when you come out of uh, the story mode. Before, you know, when you're in high school, you're like the alpha dog, defensive anchor, and all those things. None of the actually good badges, no rebounding badges, none of that. It's just player skill, strictly player skill when I play with him. I have no badges. Now, the way that I ranked up fast, first of all, you have to have good teammates. You can't go out there playing with randoms thinking you're going to get a good teammate grade every day. You have to be in communication with the people you're playing with, number one. So have good teammates. Have good ball movement. Don't be a ball hog. Scoring points is not going to get you that good teammate grade that you need. You need to have good passes, uh, good defense, you know, defensive stops. There's a lot of things, a lot of reasons why you can get um, teammate grades this year. Uh, by passing the ball around, like if you get like two or three good passes in one um, possession, they'll automatically give you the good ball movement. So besides a good pass, good passes will give you teammate grade, good ball movement will give you teammate grade, assists will give you teammate grade. So if you're getting good passes, good ball movement, chances are you passed it at the right time and that person got a score off of it. Another thing that gives you team good good teammate grades, uh, another thing that gives you a good teammate grade is um, scoring off of a double move. So, you know, do a double dribble, you know, do a, a crossover into a shot, do a spin move into a shot, do any type of dribbling move into a shot. Shoot open shots, do not shoot bad shots. Bad shot selection will decrease your grade, turnovers will decrease your grade, leaving your man wide open will decrease your grade. It's all about good, smart basketball. A lot of people think that if you make a big man automatically, you will get good team, teammate grades. It's not automatic. You have to get rebounds. You have to play defense. Another thing about making a big man, though, is since there are not many big mans, the lineup matches get messed up. So there's a good chance that if you're a center, you may be sticking a shooting guard, or you know people don't make centers these days, so you'll be shooting a small, you'll be um, guarding a small forward. So it's a lot of, you know, disadvantages to being a big man as well. If they're going to play the perimeter, then you probably will have to play extra hard in order to get those um, good teammate grades because if you leave your man at the three-point line you're only focused about rebounds, then there's a good chance they're going to score and you're going to get negative teammate grade for leaving your man, leaving your assignment, and um, allowing uh, your man to score. Another thing that allows you to um, rank them fast is you have to play a lot of games, you know, you have to put in the work. If you have a job and you go to school, if you don't vamp at night, it's kind of hard to get the games in that you need. You need to have a consistent amount of win streaks, you need to have good teammate grades in all those games. Simple as that. I can honestly say that for the most part, I have over 600 wins, less than 200 losses. So, for the most part, out of all those games, I've had at least a B plus or better. 
But I also have a point guard, 94 overall point guard, who I was playing with primarily. And that's where the good teammates come in. You need shooters. You need to be able to get assists. You need to be able to have people that you can trust playing with because you can't do it all. If you try to do it all, your teammate grade is going to suffer. You can't have the ball. This year, you can't have the ball um, that long because it will say you hold the ball too long. So, you know, you got to dribble. If you don't have an open shot, pass it. Dish it out. Pass. Pretty much passing the ball is how you get teammate grades. If you pass the ball, you get good passes. If you pass the ball at the right time, you get a good pass. If you pass to an open teammate, you get a good pass. If you pass it in the post, that's a good pass. And then after all those good passes, you get, you know, good ball movement. Good ball movement is key to any win already. You need to be able to spread the floor. You know, just play good team basketball. And that's really all I have really been doing in order to rank up fast. Play a lot of games, get good teammate grades. Don't be the scorer. Don't only, don't only be a one-dimensional player. Don't try to score 15 points a game and think that that is what's going to make you rep up fast because it truly is not. You need assists, you need steals, you need defense, you need multiple defensive stops, you need everything. You know, a couple of rebounds here and there. You know, you need to be able to be more than just the scorer in this game in order to get good teammate grades. You know, see right there, I get the good pass and we get good ball movement. And everybody gets that. Plus I get the assist and now my grade is at an A+. Plus. So I have, right now my stat is looking like, you know, I have the defense, you know, I have seven rebounds, I have a block. I have uh, a couple of points. You see, it, my points are not what, you know, succeed me. It's like everything else, you know, my seven rebounds, my three assists, my one block. I probably got a steal in there too. I really don't know. I haven't really been watching the game right now. I've just been really trying to focus on telling you guys because I get asked a lot, how did you rank up so fast? I am wearing part clothing right now, but I'm not sure how true it is that that gives you extra rep. I am only wearing that because the clothes this year suck. Like, I don't like the, the 2K store this year. I mean, things are cheaper, but I don't really like the look. And you see, I customized some LeBrons to go with the sunset outfit, so I'll probably be wearing this for a while, you know, because... I mean, I, can, I'm, I might wear some, you know, different, you know, team gear. But as far as the 2K store, like the, the, the My Park gear, I'm not going to wear any of that. They don't, even have, they don't even have basketball shorts. You know, last year they had like, all different colors and everything like that. They don't even have that. But, uh, yeah, look at another rebound right there. That's nine rebounds. I mean, I was playing some little people, so. Actually, that dude was kind of big. But, uh, yeah, this was my pretty much just showcasing my first, you know, gameplay as a legend. And letting you guys know how I repped up fast. And hopefully you guys take this advice. And I see a lot of more legends, you know, out here. <laughs> I said a lot of more. A lot more legends out here. You know, it's not hard. You just have to put in the work. Get good teammate greats. Play good team basketball. And you can be a legend. But, uh, yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you're not already subscribed to me, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Like. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I do respond to my comments. Thank you guys for watching so much. And thank you guys for the support. If you're not already following me, make sure you guys follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash prettylovespink. Peace.